Well guys, we just found out we're moving. Hi guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to our selling the house vlog. So if you missed my last video, go check it out. I explained everything going on and the fact that we sold our house and we are moving into our dream home and we're so, so excited. Um, so I vlogged the whole craziness of finding out we were going to be selling our house and turning it around and getting it on the market and selling it within 24 hours of it going live. So it was absolutely nuts um, and the vlog is craziness because there was so much going on but I tried to record what I could and um, tried to like explain in little bits um, to kind of fill you in but if you guys have questions or want to chat definitely let me know in the comments if you're new here welcome my name is Marion I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom and I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you're interested in moving content or organization decluttering anything like that definitely hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be making a ton of those videos coming up also if you want to follow along with our day-to-day -day life as we're packing up our house and moving don't forget to follow me on Instagram all right let's jump in to the vlog rewind to a few weeks ago well guys we just found out we're moving our offer got accepted we literally just found out and we're moving and we have to get this house ready to sell in like a day <laughs> so um yeah i will catch up on everything i'll fill you in on everything i just want to record this moment where we just found out that we're gonna be moving into our dream home and i'm so excited and thankful so here we go also by the way if you follow me on instagram you would have seen my post today that said that i measure my stress level by the height and messiness of my hair <laughs> peak we're at peak level right now so the first thing i did when we found out the news that we need to get our house on the market was just organize my closet and i tried to just pull out all the stuff i wasn't wearing and shove it away pack it up put it in a box and just make my closet look as open and clean as possible and i also tried to take out anything that was valuable or super personal so like those pictures had to go i cleaned off all these shelves all my winter clothes that i wouldn't be wearing and then tried to start like shoving everything in a pile to pack and take to my in-laws so my first project was my closet is also the space that was all mine so that felt the easiest to tackle first. The next space we tackled was the living room. We really just tried to depersonalize and get rid of clutter. We also got rid of our rug because it was just too stained and we couldn't really um, clean it off. So I just tried to make sure all the surfaces didn't have anything personal on them and didn't have too much decor on them. Um, we actually had our realtor works with a stager. So we worked with her on FaceTime because of COVID and she wanted us to really highlight like our fireplaces and stuff. So to draw attention to towards that so I also had that in mind then I plan to make a whole separate video on this but one of the first things we bought was this packing kit from Amazon I think there was actually three separate things in it but it came with tape boxes and those awesome labels I absolutely loved it and then we got some of this like um, foam to pack up fragile items but I really like the labels <laughs> that was my favorite thing because um, it was just really easy to see where the boxes were gonna go so we bought some boxes and got straight into packing any Thing that was out and about or fragile because we really wanted our closets and kitchen cupboards and everything to look as decluttered as possible then in the boys bedrooms I tried to get rid of a lot of toys that they weren't playing with um, or they're not that interested at the moment so I think I did two boxes in each of their rooms and then just labeled it low priority so that when I unpack I know that these can wait they're just toys that they're not really that into at the moment and this is what my kitchen is looking like at the moment so inside the cupboard everything looks nice and neat and organized there's just a few things to suggest like what the space could be used for everything else you see cluttered on the countertop is going into boxes um by the way i have a toddler who loves to like take out absolutely everything from my cupboard so if you see things on the floor that's why and this is just a little tour of how the kitchen was looking i think this was a day or so before we left so i hadn't fully styled everything i had just really emptied it down to the bare minimum of what we're using day to day that we absolutely need and couldn't kind of live without everything else went into storage so just really tried to minimize everything and make it look its best okay 
Okay, it's one day later since I filmed that little clip when we found out that we were under contract and our offer was accepted. And basically we have like a handful of dates to get our house on the market. And so our plan is actually to go to my husband's parents' house for a few days or as long as it takes for the house to sell um, because we need to get everything ready for staging the house. So like I mentioned, thankfully my minimalist ways are paying off and there really is not too much to do, but there are so many little things and the house cannot have anything personal in it, like no toys around, nothing like that. So it's just a huge effort to like figure it all out. And of course it's, you know, the time of Corona. So the kids are home with us all the time and it's really hard to like clean and declutter and do all that stuff when you have two kids three and under and two dogs running around so we're doing everything we can to just um get ready get out of the house and then me and my husband have just like a few hours tomorrow evening where no one will be in the house and we can just do last touches and then yeah they're coming to take photos tomorrow or sorry the day after um do a video everything that needs to be done the floors are getting washed the cleaning people are coming just it's all happening and the house is going on the market in three days so yeah I want to show you guys where we're at right now so this is the current state of things There's my husband. Um, this is the kitchen what else the dining room <laughs> So it kind of seems like everything is a huge mess right now and it sort of is but it's just those like last little things that we couldn't like put away or do anything with and we also need to like pack up everything like as if we're going on vacation for a week so we also just need to do all that packing bring toys and everything else with us i mean obviously there's toys there but you know all like the special ones so so that's where we're at, but feeling really excited and motivated we've just been going like go 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 non-stop for the past few days but it's just so exciting that it's like we have all the energy in the world because we're just so excited so i think it's been like 24 hours maybe 48 hours since i last picked up my camera and in that time we have cleaned out the whole house gotten it totally ready to go on the market this morning we had the photographer come and take pictures so it was like totally cleaned out we're having the carpets washed and all that and it's going on the market tomorrow and right now we're at the new home for the first time um, since we initially saw it because we are doing our home inspection which I'm so excited about just because I'm so excited to spend some time in the new home because I mean when you first go just to look at it even though of course we immediately were like yes we want to buy it we felt that way before we'd even actually been in it but you have no idea if that's even like a remote possibility so you're not really you know it's just a whole different way of feeling and thinking about the house and now we're like okay we're under contract and we actually maybe hopefully we'll be living here so i'm so excited okay let's go in but of course can't go in the house with the inspector before putting on our mask because pandemic y'all pandemic moving in a pandemic just makes things a little bit crazier so like for example there can only be two of us in the house right now and just little crazy things like that okay let's go this is a drone flying above our new house it's the inspector's drone and he uses it to check everything on the roof which i thought was really cool so i videoed it we're here in the master bath this is one of the most exciting parts of the house check it out it's so beautiful and then it's got the closet oh, definitely bigger than i have clothes for Hi guys, Marion from the future interjecting here. This part's a little confusing, but basically we had photos of our house done. And after the photos were done, we then had another set of like cleaners and carpet washers come in to get rid of any trace of dog in the house. Um, but that could be done after the photos were taken. So that's why there's a little back and forth. So basically I came back to the house um, to do one last little prep before it went live and on the market the day after the photos were taken. Okay. Back to the vlog. Okay, it's one day later. I'm a sweaty mess. I'm about to text the realtor to let her know the house can go up for sale. Everything's done. All lights are on. Window shades are open. Everything is clean and beautiful and bright. I'm exhausted, but we're ready to go. Let's sell this house. 
So this is one last view of our house and how it looked before it was all ready to go on the market. Again, we're coming back here to live once it sells, but um, this was, I wanted to capture how all the rooms look totally clean and decluttered and ready to go for buyers to see. So that's it, I'm about to drive away, even though of course I'll be driving back here once we sell the house because we still have to live in it like until we close and everything's done. But it definitely feels a little bit like we're saying goodbye. And it was crazy being in there because it already did not feel like our home. Like even though a lot of our stuff is still there, it really didn't feel like our home anymore. Um, it was kind of crazy. I was, it was almost like, oh, I remember this place. Like, oh, we used to live here, even though we still do. But it just had that feeling like it was, it's ready to be somebody else's home and hopefully make another family just as happy as it has made us. Sorry for the state of my uh, sweaty, crazy mess right now. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of physical work getting these houses ready, but it's so exciting the way I always say to myself remind me to never move in the summer because literally whenever we're moving it's somehow 100 degrees in July like I feel like we always move in July something about the summer sets me off I need to get out um and then every time I'm like oh wait I remember I I went to never move in July again <laughs> but at least it's not raining or snowing because that would be way harder but it is not we we did it we sold our house we just found out we've been like on pins and needles <laughs> the last few hours like we had the my hair um but basically whoops cory oh my goodness <laughs> this is in my trunk nobody likes oh. trunk oh hey, cory you okay you okay uh, yeah we're just playing with some uh we're just playing with our toothbrush here. Um, so basically, they it all went crazy. We signed at like midnight last night, and then they had an inspection this morning, and then they had until 6 p.m. to let us know, and it's like 5.45 right now. <laughs> yeah, but they, they want it. They want the house, so. So it's all happening. Hi, Corey. So yeah, we've... Um, so yeah, we only just got home like an hour ago. We basically, once we knew they were all done with the inspection, we wanted to like come home anyways and reset whatever was gonna happen. So, but of course we were like, don't touch anything, don't make any mess, like just in case it has to go back on the market tomorrow. But it's all good, it's all good. So yeah, oh my goodness. So yeah, sorry about the craziness of this vlog. I just wanted to capture little pieces here and there. <laughs> um, and I'll, hopefully make some sort of sense of it when I edit this together. Yay, we're moving! So that's it, that's our selling our house vlog. I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it even though I know it was a little crazy. Like I said, feel free to let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one, bye!